What is up, everybody? My name is Justin. This is Forever Self Employed. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to make $500 an hour removing rust stains. I'm joined with a special guest. Mike, would you like to go ahead and introduce yourself? Yeah. Hey, guys. How you doing? I'm Mike. Uh, Mike Olin. I, I'm in South Florida, and we've been uh, washing for probably three, four years now, and I love everything about it. So thanks for having me, man. Absolutely, man. I had to had to get you on. I'm glad we could finally do it. We've been talking about it for a while, uh, but we're going to be talking about rust removal today. And my first question for you is how do we identify rust? And have you ever mistaken a stain for rust and it was actually something else? Uh, yeah. So rust is usually orange or reddish or sometimes even like a brownish color, or they might call it iron stains. It's all kind of the same in my eyes. And I have gone to some jobs where you'll see mildew that looks a little reddish but that's that's a rare occurrence most of the time if you see red orange or dark reddish brown stains uh it's probably more than likely a rust or iron stain and it's just a different type of process uh different chemical you'll use to clean it as a pair as opposed to the uh algae okay excellent so um is rust removal specifically an upsell or have you ever marketed for it as a standalone service before i do use rust removal as an upsell but i also market it on its own um on my truck i have rust removal i actually went and bought a domain removeyourrust.com um so i do market it on its own but most of the time it's a upsell. Okay, excellent. Yeah, it'd probably be a good way to draw up some business. I'm sure there's not a lot of people marketing for uh, rust remo removal specifically. And that's one of the things that I always try to look for is like, okay, where can we kind of get our foot in the door in a space that isn't necessarily oversaturated? Um, so I could see that being very beneficial to market for something like that. So uh, when you're walking around a property with a customer and you notice a rust stain, do you just kind of educate them uh, on how it can be removed? Is there any sort of pitch there? How does What does that look like? Well, most of the time, if I get a call for a house wash, um, I usually let the customer know that we'll remove any organic matter. But then I also tell them sometimes that you have stains on your house that are that come from iron or your sprinkler system. So I tell them that rust removal is a different process. And depending on whether you have it or not, it's a whole different process. It's a it's more of like a restoration. You're using uh, an acid based chemical. So I let them know ahead of time that way if they want to get it done great but also if they know that hey why is this stain still there and they know that that's going to be a separate charge so it's important to educate them for sure definitely costly on our end you know the the chemicals are a little more money than the the, the sh used for a normal house wash right so whenever you talk to the customer you pretty much do this with every customer you just kind of let them know that you will you know be able to get rid of all the organic matter however there still might be stains that fall into that restoration category yes exact exactly okay exactly. excellent i love it i love it man so if you know if you did notice the rust stain you would then tell them hey you know we could get this up for you if you're interested yeah and i exactly i let them know hey you know depending on the size of it usually most of the time it's uh, a little spot here and there, but then you have the ones that are like the entire wall. And that's when you're looking at, um, you know, a hundred to 200, even upwards of $500 just to do that uh, amount of work on a house. So you gotta be, you know, education is very important, but um, like I said, there is sometimes where it's just a small area and, you know, sometimes it could be as low as 50 bucks. I'll charge them or sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll try to get a Google review out of it and just take care of it for them. You know what I'm okay. saying? So it, it all depends on the size. Excellent. I love that. I love leveraging the uh, the removal of the stain for a Google review. That's perfect. Uh, yeah. Can you kind of walk us through some of the steps of removing rust? Like what we need to do, you know, one, two, three. So first things first, the, you'll want to wash the house as normal. You know, your normal SH mixture, your house wash, get all the organic matter off and then that will expose what's left and that's usually if there is iron stains obviously they'll still be there then i'll go ahead and make sure you don't want any sh on any of this uh surface because you cannot mix rust removal products with sh it's a huge no-no it is extremely dangerous and you know not even just a little bit it's extremely dangerous so you don't want to mix those two chemicals and then i go ahead and i make an acid mixture usually using oxalic acid which is like a powder it's a raw powder 
and I buy that by the pound. I usually mix a pound per gallon of water and that usually takes care of it. I spray it on, let it do the work for sometimes a minute, sometimes 30 seconds, um, but you do not want to let it dry on these surface. So then after about a minute or so, I rinse it off and then I will repeat if needed. But most of the time it gets it right then and there. Okay, excellent. Hey, that's some great information, especially if guys think that they can mix house wash with a uh, rust removal uh, product. Um, yeah, it's really bad. And it's not like, you know, will people say you can't mix Dawn with bleach? No, nah, this is like the real deal will we'll start smoking and really mess you up. So It's funny, the deeper that you get into some of the chemicals to remove some of these stains, uh, you, you have to kind of become like a chemist to some extent, you know? Yeah, I, I, I find it interesting. But, you know, once you learn it, it's really... Uh, kind of simple, you know, you got your high pH and your low pH and uh, SH is a high pH and rust is a low pH acid. So you just don't want to mix them too. Okay, perfect. So um, we, you kind of mentioned it before, you know, you said smaller spots were about $50. Typical spot would look like $100. How do we go about pricing for this service? And can you kind of touch on, you know, uh, what your biggest job look like that you would get $500 an hour for? Yeah, so the way, like I said, I kind of talked about my pricing a little bit. The uh, It all depends on the amount of time, the amount of chemical. But if I, like, for instance, I had a job where I was doing, uh, it was a corner lot. It wasn't a driveway, but it was a sidewalk wrapped around all the way around the house. And they had some serious uh, rust stain. And you can tell people battled it with, you know, red tips and you could see Zorro marks all throughout it. So they, they must have battled this for a long time and they had no idea. I don't want to say it's definitely easy for us once you learn what you're doing to remove rust, but you got to know what you're doing. And they, this customer did not know what they were doing. And it looked like they hired many people that didn't know what they were doing. So I went in, I told them, you know, I'm going to be having to use a special chemical. It's going to take me about, you know, an hour, two hours. Um, and I gave them a quote for 500. It just, um, the experience is what you're getting paid for. You know, you're dealing with a dangerous chemical. Uh, depending on what you use, like I, I carry F9 on the truck. I usually do use oxalic acid, but I do carry F9. And when it's an, a really bad iron or maybe a fertilizer stain, that's when you want to use F9. And that stuff kind of gets pricey. So, you know, you're only going to be using probably a half a gallon on a job that size, but you still, you know, you got to know what you're doing. And like I said, you're paying, they're paying for your experience. So it's, uh, pretty simple i would say you know i don't get 500 an hour every job but it's very possible you know you just got to know what you're doing and how to sell your uh you know your your service even if it was like a hundred dollars for 10 minutes that would still pretty much break down to 500 yeah. an hour so right uh, yeah right you want to charge correctly for this this isn't normal this is a restoration process and you got to be careful know what you're doing so it is easy, but like I said, you don't want to be charging the same you would for a house wash because it's a whole different process. Absolutely. And that's a key term to use when educating the customer is a restoration deal. Um, so is there anything else that we kind of want to touch on with regards to this service or anything, you know, anything else? Yeah, I mean, you want to make sure you wear your proper PPE, uh, wear a mask, make sure you wear glasses at, at the minimum, wear sunglasses, wear gloves and um, always mix always pour say you're making a five gallon batch and you need to say you're making f9 for instance and you're doing it uh 10 to 1 you want to make your you want to fill your bucket with water first and then pour your acid in there because pouring water into acid could splash out and that it's just always good to add the water first then the acid and you just want to make sure you're safe and wear your PPE. That's definitely a main thing. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, well, Mike, you gave some great information on this one, man. Um, I'm going to leave your channel linked down in the comment section description. So if you guys want to go check out Mike, make sure to do so. But every guest that comes on the channel gets to pick the word of the day. So what would you like the word of the day to be? Uh, let's call it uh, Red red Tip. Red Tip Bandit. <laughs> <laughs> the word of the day is going to be Red Tip Bandit. If you made it this far in the video, go ahead and comment down below Red Tip Bandit and I will hashtag you a real one. My name is Justin. This is Forever Self Employed. As I mentioned before, Mike's information will be in the comment section description. If you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, check out his channel, and until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace.